began with Tricia Marit. Uh, she is the a former presiding officer of the Scottish Parliament. She's a very, very friend of Catalonia, and you have been campaigning very strongly for the right, the self-determination, the right of the Catalan people to to decide his own future. Uh, can you please tell us yeah, a I've, little bit more? I've been, you know, very involved in Catalonia. Uh, more specifically about the right of the Catalonian people to determine what their own future is. Uh, so I was out there for the 1st of October uh, for the referendum itself um, and spoke at the democracy rally two nights before and I was very clear um, that what should have happened was that there should have been a negotiated referendum in the same way that Scotland had a negotiated referendum. Um, there's got to be a solution in Catalonia. Um, it cannot be a legal solution that the, state, the Spanish state is trying to impose at the moment by jailing people who want elections. Uh, it has got to be a political solution, not a legal solution. And it's such a pity that we are here today. Here is a Clara uh, Sponsati some days ago, uh, here because she's very welcoming in Scotland. There's a lot of people here supporting her. What do you expect from the this hearing? Well, um, I spoke. To, I, I visited Clara um, a week past Friday um, when she arrived in Scotland because I only live about 20 miles away from her. So I went up to greet her, take her a bunch of flowers, and say welcome to Scotland. At that time, the address warrant had not been reactivated. Um, and it was reactivated soon after that. Um, the hearing today is a very much a very, uh, just a preliminary hearing, um, which um, allows her to be identified, um, to set bail um, for her, um, with the prospect of another hearing at another date. And finally, a message for the people in Catalonia and in Spain that they are. Oh, very yeah. I, I message you know, uh, to the people in Catalonia is that you know uh, Clara Pansati is in good hands. She has got an excellent legal team. Um, the people of Scotland have taken her to the hearts. There has been a crowdfunder today, um, which broke one hundred thousand pound in four hours. Um, so um, please. Don't be concerned about her. We will do all we can, recognising that the final disposition of this rests in the hands of the legal authorities. Thank you very much, Trish. Pleased to meet you personally because I know you are very, very good supporting people in your belief in democracy and that's amazing to find people like you. And I, I like you when you're with uh, the presiding officer of the parliament. I follow the, every single <laughs> session in the parliament, so it's, it's a privilege to be here with you. Thank you it's very much. It's lovely to see you. Thank you.